I had a chance to meet uh, with the anthropologists, you know, who were working in PNG, mm -hmm. and then also, also uh, uh, the, uh, the botanist in botanist in uh, Bishop Museum mm -hmm. was also there in in the workplace, and then I met her. He said, "Oh," and then she gave me her contact address and all this, and I said, "Okay." If you are interested in you know, pursuing to you know further studies, these are the opportunities. And then I was like, you know, uh, networking is like okay. also important, you know, while out there. So yeah. Okay. Mm. Awesome. Mm. Uh, well, talking about the environment, back to the environment for now. And since like before I came to Hawaii, I was like, I started to advocate for environment like since I was in high school. So. Like, even though my knowledge at that time wasn't as good as I have now, and since I got here, I studied a lot, like, about the environment, however, like, I didn't really know how to use it. So when I went to Washington, D.C., interning with uh, IGSD, this is my result. I wrote a paper, like, uh, master's students, but I was, like, crazy. <laughs> however, like, somehow I was, like, it was a very tiring job, though. But I somehow enjoyed it, mm. and I gained a lot of knowledge. Yeah. And particularly in Timor-Leste, like, Environment is one of the things that our country like has to prioritize in the near future. So like there we were talking about black carbons. So black carbons comes from like people are burning stuff, especially coals and everything. And in Timor Leste it's such a culture, I believe anywhere in the Pacific we have common cultures like people keeps burning for cooking and whatever it is. So I studied about the black carbons and then the impact especially to humans health about that and and Understanding the people, like the rate of people who are dying in Timor Leste. So, um, understanding that somehow.